Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about the DST Inspire Faculty Fellowship. And this fellowship is essentially brought out by the Department of Science and Technology of the Government of India. And this fellowship is for a period of five years. It's a postdoctoral fellowship, so essentially you can have a PhD degree from any country in the world and you can apply for this fellowship. So the advantage of this fellowship is that you can apply for it and you can select a host institution, any university or institute of technology or institute of science as the case may be and essentially the DSD is going to fund you. So let's get into some of the details about this fellowship. Now essentially let's look at who can apply. So essentially if you are an Indian citizen or if you are a PIO you can apply for this fellowship and you can apply in a variety of disciplines so this includes science, mathematics, engineering, pharma, medicine and agriculture. Now you need to get 60% marks or the equivalent CGPA from all exams after your class 12 exams so keep that in mind. Also just like all the Indian government fellowships there are age restrictions so the age restri restriction is 32 years for general category and 37 years for SCST or women candidates and also 42 years if somebody is a disabled candidate so keep this in mind these age limits are there in terms of how old you need to be so essentially they are trying to recruit young people with the hope that they have a lot of time to stay in the academic system now what do they want for this fellowship essentially they want you to have a PhD and they would like you to have publications in reputed journals so essentially they mentioned that this fact that you have publications in reputed journals is a proof that you have demonstrated research expertise and you may do well in your fellowship here now how do you apply for this fellowship essentially you apply through the inspire portal there is a separate portal for that and the selection is handled by insa and dst there are discipline specific committees involved here now how much money do you get essentially you get 125000 per month that is the typical fellowship here and each year your fellowship grows by an amount of 2000 rupees per month so that's a reasonable amount of money i would say in most institutes and universities but if you are staying in big cities it may be somewhat problematic but still i would say from the perspective of post doctoral fellowships this is a pretty big jump over what the PhD students are paid as far as India is concerned. Now beside that you get a research grant of rupees 7 lakh for each of the five years and this grant is certainly going to be very useful so 7 lakh for five years would mean 35 lakh rupees so that's quite a lot of money. Now essentially you have to choose your host institute and the only thing which is told about this host institute that it should not be the place where you have done your PhD or postdoc. So again it's always better to go to a different institute if you are doing PhD somewhere because it gives you diversity in terms of your background and training and you also get to know a lot of new people so that is encouraged through this fellowship. Now one of the things which I have seen about this fellowship is that the successful aspirants essentially have good record so it always helps to have your PhD from a very good university and also your bachelor's and master's degrees from good universities though that is not required it helps to have a good journal publication record that's one of the most important things here and essentially the problem you are proposing that's your problem you need to make sure that the host institute has the facilities to actually do this work so I would always encourage you to go for the best possible host institute in these situations and it should be guided by the possibility of actually completing your research there that should be the main aim it should not be something like you want to stay near your home or something like that go to whichever place in the country is best suited in terms of your research. Now one more thing which I have found from practical experience that it helps to link yourself to some faculty in the department because that is going to smooth out things. Many a time you can take a joint 
research student with this faculty. So since you are a temporary employee at the university or institute, it's going to be required that you have a permanent employee as a joint student. So before you join, make sure that you have some of these things known to you. You may want to talk to the department chair or email him or her and figure out that you can take a joint student because that's certainly going to strengthen your case. Now, the main aspiration of this fellowship is that after you have completed your five years, you join the host institute if possible. However, if you are not able to join the host institute, you can go somewhere else also. And if during these five years you get a permanent job somewhere, you can actually join that institute and you can take your research funding there, though they will have to pay your salary by themselves, but you can take your research funding, some of the equipment and so on there. But since most host institutes are letting you stay there, do the research there, maybe write a number of good journal papers there, associate with the department, you could even teach some course either on your own or jointly. So these things are very flexible depending on the university you are in, the department chairman and so on. So make sure before you join that it's an institute which gives you a lot of flexibility. So that was my take on the INSPIRE Faculty Fellowship. It's a very good postdoctoral program for anybody who is thinking of doing postdoc in India and then getting a faculty position. Also, if you are abroad anywhere and you are an Indian citizen or even a person who has ancestry from India, you can apply to this postdoctoral position and then you can take advantage of this five year stint in terms of postdoctoral fellow. One more thing this fellowship lets you do is that it lets you go for periods less than eight weeks to foreign countries. So essentially you can keep some research activity going with different foreign countries around the world if you want to do that. So if you want to visit your un university where you did your PhD, that is something which is always going to be possible. So this fellowship has been made to encourage people to stay in India and do research and I hope you take advantage of it. So I'll end this video here, excuse the airplane which always fly when I make the video outside, but I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.